In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Rode Wireless Go, which you can see right here dangling right above my bosom. And I'm gonna compare the audio quality between this and the Rode Video Micro and go through some of the pros and cons of these two microphones and maybe help you decide which one you should get. You're gonna to wanna to stick around because it's gonna be pretty juicy. Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua. And to start out this video, I'm just gonna say that this is not gonna be a super scientific or technical video. This is gonna be mostly a sound quality comparison. And I'm also gonna go into a few logistic things about why you would want something like the Rode Video Micro or why you would want something like the Wireless Go. So you're already hearing the Wireless Go right now. This is what it sounds like. I have my Panasonic G85 camera here. The gain level on there is set to zero dB. And on the Rode Wireless Go, there's a microphone and then there's a receiver. And on the receiver for the wireless go, there's a little button that says DB. And when you press that, it goes through three gain levels like low, medium, and high based on how hot you want your signal, how loud you want your voice to be. And I've noticed that this microphone definitely has a pretty hot, pretty loud signal. My camera is set to zero DB right now, but I also have the DB on the wireless go set to the minimum volume. And I'm still getting a really strong signal. So I, I really like that, that I don't have to turn this wireless go microphone all the way up just to get a clear signal. All right, so now you're listening to the Rode Video Micro and I have it attached to my camera. It's just right above my lens right up here. But I noticed in my studio right now, I can hear some reverberation going on throughout my space here because it's not super treated. There's not a whole lot of foam or things kind of soaking up all the reverberations of my voice. That little bit of echo after I say anything, I can hear it while I'm talking right now. It's a little distracting. The Rode Video Micro is still a really fantastic microphone. It's only $60 versus the Wireless Go, which is $200. So pretty huge difference there. I haven't even listened to how the wireless go sounds yet. So let me know in the comments what you think so far. One of the main reasons I got the wireless go was to combat these kind of situations where I'm sitting in a room that's not super treated for noise. But one advantage of the video micro over the wireless go is it's a directional mic that sits on top of your camera. So wherever you take your camera, you point your camera at whatever and it picks up the audio from that versus having a microphone like the wireless go, which is obviously strapped to you or your subject or whoever, and it'll only pick up the sound of right here and maybe a little bit of what's going on you know around you and also one of the benefits of the video micro is it doesn't run on a battery it's just plug and play you just plug it into your camera and it just works so that's slightly less of a barrier if you're looking for something where you can just plug it into your camera and go the wireless go ironically yes the name is wireless go but you do have to press power on both sides and kind of clip it to you and with the wireless go obviously it's on your shirt or whatever so it's visible usually but let's switch over back to the wireless go and see how the audio sounds on that again jiminy crickets i am back jiminy crickets you know double stuffed pizza pepperoni i am back to talking on the Rode wireless go so it's a little distracting having something that's kind of touching my chest so that's one of the benefits of having something like the video micro obviously it's on your camera so it's not touching you it's not visible in your frame if you're looking for something where you don't have a mic in the frame, you're definitely gonna want something like the Rode Video Micro or another shotgun mic that's you know somewhere in your space or on top of your camera. All right, let's do an outside test. It might actually start raining on me in a second. So if it does, I'm gonna be running back inside. But yeah, this is a test. I'm still using the Wireless Go, talking at my kind of normal voice volume. You can hear there's a little like construction noise happening not too far from me. But yeah, what do you think of the Wireless Go so far? I love how small it is. And you know, I talked about how it's something that's dangling from your neck so you kind of feel it. But after like a few seconds, you actually don't really notice it that much. So it's really not that big of a deal. And it has a, and I love that it's so tiny that you can just like stick it in your pocket. All right, and now I am using the video micro and you can hear maybe it sounds a little bit different outside versus the wireless go. Oh snap, doggies. This is actually a really good real, real world test where dogs and stuff just like randomly appear. But yeah, this is, I'm using the Rode Video Micro right now. I'm actually gonna flip it over because why do I need to talk about this? This is actually a lot more interesting. There you go. Now because I'm using the Rode Video Micro, you can hear the noises from these doggies.
I got them all riled up. Oh, autofocus. Come on, autofocus. Yeah. This is a freaking mosquito on my finger again. I can't film anything in Texas. I need to move. But yeah, what do you think? I've always had really good results with the Rode Video Micro. I've used it in my studio a bunch, but like I said, my studio right now has a bunch of echo and stuff in it now, so it's not exactly the ideal microphone for my studio, which is why I got the wireless go, get a little closer to my voice. But yeah, I'm gonna head back into my studio now because I'm getting all done bit up. All right, so I am back in my studio and I am using the wireless go once more. Whew, it is definitely summer. Summer is upon us. I am drenched in sweat from being outside to shoot that video for about two minutes. And here's something that I forgot to mention about the wireless go and why you would want something like this versus the Rode Video Micro. Let's say you want it to back up and do something over here. You know, you can still hear my voice no matter where I go. Go over here, hear my voice, over here, hear my voice. Well, with the video micro, when that's on your camera, it's shooting towards, you know, you right here. So if you go over here, you're gonna get a little drop in audio. If you go behind the camera, you're gonna get a little drop in audio. So the wireless go is really awesome if you want like a wireless lav microphone type of situation. And I, I just love how small it is. It's so pocketable. You can actually put it in your pocket where the Rode Video Micro is definitely not pocketable. But if you're on a budget, you're gonna want something like the Rode Video Micro because it's only $60 versus the Wireless Go, which is 200. So from all the other reviews that I've seen of the Wireless Go, it sounds really good. I'm excited to see these clips to see how it does. But let me know what you think in the comments of the Wireless Go versus the Rode Video Micro when it comes to sound quality. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is a better value, a better bang for the buck? If this sounds really good, I'm leaning towards using the Wireless Go for most things, except for vlogging, because with vlogging, you know, you want a microphone that's pointed towards your subject, towards what's happening around you, so you don't have to, you know, take off your little microphone and give it to whoever's talking every single time you shoot something. That would get annoying real fast. So for vlogging, something like the Rode Video Micro is definitely the winner. But for something like a studio setup like this, where I don't wanna mess with cables and I don't wanna hear a lot of like room noise, I'd probably go for something like the Wireless Go. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful for you. Leave me a thumbs up, smash the subscribe and notification bell whistles buttons. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at B3NAQUA. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.